welcome. In this video, we're going to look at creating a new project within ACL. So we go into the ACL software. This is the welcoming screen or the welcome screen that you'll see once you launch, launch ACL. Uh, and in all our previous examples, when we go to the file menu, we've chosen open project. But this time we're going to create our own project. So we're going to go to new. Uh, and from new, we're going to choose new project. So we're going to decide what to call our project. So we will call this my first project. And a reminder that a project is just a, a way of gathering the tables that you need in ACL into one place. Uh, so this could be your project for your end of year audit or um, uh, the project is basically where you're going to pull in all the tables uh, from all the different files that you're going to work on. So we're calling our project uh, my first project. Uh, we hit and we decide where we want to save it. So we're happy enough with that destination. We choose save um, and we're automatically taken into this data definition wizard. There's a welcome screen here that you can get rid of if you like. You can say do not show this welcome screen again and you go to your next dialog box. Your next dialog box is asking you or your next screen is asking you where's the disk or where's the data file? Is it on disk or is it in another source? So in all your instances, your data file is always going to be on disk. So you can choose next and then it's asking you to go and get your data file. Uh, so for this example, the first data file we're going to bring in is called credit cards ACL. So we scroll down in this folder here and we choose credit cards, uh, sorry, credit cards metaphor, I should say, um, and we select it there. Remember to check your location. If I give you an Excel file to import, you need to make sure you go to the location where that Excel file is in order to import it. This file that I'm importing is on my C drive in the ACL data folder, sample data files called credit cards metaphor. So I choose open and then it's asking me, is it an IBM mainframe file or is it a PC file? So I'll always be giving you a PC file. So you don't need to do anything with that. And this is the screen that you might or you might need to change depending on what I ask you to import into your project. But in this case, you don't because it's an Excel file. It's ACL spots that it's an Excel file. So Excel is already highlighted here so that's fine you choose next and on this screen here it's asking you to select the worksheet from within Excel or a named range if you wish from within Excel but in the case of this Excel file there is only one worksheet that's being used so you only see one but if there was an Excel file coming in that had more than one worksheet you might find a list here and you'd have to pick which worksheet you wanted to bring in so we take the one that's there and we go next and now it's asking me what do I want to call my ACL data file so what am I going to call this ACL data file. So I'll call it the same thing, which is credit cards at uh, four. So I say save. This will be worked out automatically for me, all the different uh, field types, and I go finish. And then it's asking me inside of my project, what do I want to call my table? And again, it makes sense to take the same name that it's prompting me with, which is credit cards metaphor. And I go, OK. And there is my first table coming into my project, which is coming from an Excel file. And it's now within my project. I can do the same thing again now for another Excel file called Trans April, which are the April transactions. So this time I go file new, but I don't go to a new project because I have a new project. I don't need a new new project. I want a new table within this project. So I go file new table, same screen as before. It's coming off disk. OK, and I go and I get trans April transactions for April. So there it is there, trans April. I say, OK, it is a PC file. It has spotted that it's an Excel file. There is only one worksheet, so it's highlighted there for me. Fine. So what what am I going to call this ACL file? I'm going to call it April transactions. Then it's worked out the file, uh, the different field types for me. I finish. What do I want to call the table within my project? April transactions is fine. I say OK. And there's my second Excel file come in as April transactions. OK, uh, so the next file I want to bring in then is a, um, a delimited text file. So I'm going to go new table again and I go through my first screen, my second screen as before. And this time I'm bringing in a delimited text file called unacceptable codes. So I go down and I get unacceptable codes. It is a PC file again. And here now I do need to make a a choice because it's asking me what type of file format it is. And I'll have told you that this is a delimited text file. So you change it to a delimited text file and you go next. 
and you can now see the data from the file, but you need to make some sense of it using some of the settings up here on top. So first of all, I will have told you that it's a tab delimited text file. So I hit the tab button there and straight away the data begins to make a bit more sense. And also I notice if I look here, my very first row doesn't have data in it. It has the field names. The second row starts with the data and the third row and on from there has data, but the first row has the field name. So because the first row has the field names, I tick this box here that says use the first row as field names and my, my field names pop up and I notice now row one begins with the, the data. And as I said, I changed that to tab. I changed this to say first row and I can go on then to my next screen. So on my next screen, it's saying what you want to call the data file. So we'll call the data file unacceptable codes. And on this screen, then it's asking you to check your field types. So the code field is here and it's currently a numeric type field. That's not a numeric field that you will want to multiply or add or anything. That's actually an ASCII text file. So you'll change it to an ASCII text field. So you change it to ASCII text. If you highlight the description column, you'll see that it is ASCII text, which is perfect. I'll, I'll have told you if you need to change any fields. So that's fine. You go next and that next screen is fine. You go finish. Are you happy with the table name? Unacceptable codes. And in it comes as your third table into your project. So to repeat a, a text file, just so that you see it once more, file, new, and I go to table. I come through that screen. It's a disk file. And I go and get my, my next one, which is called company departments. So there it is there, a text file. It's a PC file. Uh, and here again, I'll have told you what it is, a delimited text file. So I change my setting here to a delimited text file. I go next. And here I am on my screen telling me a little bit about, you know, a little bit of the settings to, to organize the data. So first of all, you'll notice that the data begins on row one here. So you don't use the first row as field names because that wouldn't make any sense. If I did tick the box, you notice that administrative comes up here, which makes no sense. So you'd, you'd untick it to send it back down. And I'll also have told you how it's delimited. So in this case, it's tab delimited. Uh, so I hit my tab. So I now have my data looking a little bit more organized. So I'm happy with that. And I go to my next screen and it's saying, what do you want to save the ACL file as? So we'll call it company departments, D-E-B-T-S, save. And now I can alter my fields uh, like if I've asked you to. So here's my field one. So I'm going to call my field one department name, so DPT name, and it's an ASCII text file, which is perfect. I highlight field two, which is DPT code, and it's numeric, but I will have told you to change that to an ASCII field, for example, an ASCII text file, or field, I should say. Uh, so that's fine. I go next, and um, that screen is fine. What do you want to call your table as? Uh, so I'll take the, the default company departments and go OK. So that's a Excel file and a delimited text file coming into to your project. Just be careful that you know where you've saved your project. And finally, if for any reason you missed the formatting of uh, some of those fields on the way in, if you go back to the table, make sure you're in the right table, double click it, check down here and go to edit and table layout, you can actually alter the, f the field type here. So if I double click description, for example, uh, I can change it here from ASCII to numeric or whatever. So if for some reason I missed the, the setting on the field uh, on the way in, I can go into the field here. So by double clicking the table, I'm going to edit table layout and clicking the field that I'm interested in, I can change the setting there. So that's how to create a new project uh, within ACL. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.